All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So a lot of you guys have probably seen the raft that we've been making some videos in, and I'm finally gonna do a review on that raft today. So the raft was delivered earlier this spring, and I really wanted to get a bunch of trips on it, get a bunch of hours under my belt with this thing before we actually did my review on it. All right guys, so behind me is the raft that we've been talking about and using in the last few videos. This is a Stealthcraft Hooligan XL. So it's sort of like a mini raft. It's 14 and a half feet long by five feet wide. So it's smaller than a whitewater raft. Um, it sits up to three people. So you can see here up in the front, we have a seat here with a casting brace, the rower. And then we also have another seat in the back. And there's another casting brace that goes back there, but I've taken it out because uh, when I fish with two people, I like to jump back and forth from the front to the back. There's a few other companies right now that are making these smaller drift boat rafts like this. Um, they really just make it so the weekend warrior, the everyday fisherman, can get in a boat for a decent price, drift the river and have some fun. Um, the reason I chose this one over some of the other ones, this one was was a little bit a little bit bigger, um, had a little bit more width to it, um, and that gives it more stability because we do occasionally fish three people out of this thing. If we were only gonna fish two, I might've got the smaller model of this. They make one called the Hooligan, and it's a little narrower and a little shorter. The other reason I got this is because it can handle class three whitewater. Now we're not gonna be doing a ton of that, but there are a few sections that we drift that has a couple class three waves. And uh, just wanted to make sure we're gonna have that added stability and security when we're doing that stuff. Stealthcraft welds these frames all up right in their shop. And if you guys haven't heard of Stealthcraft, you should go check them out online. I'll link them down in the description below because they make some incredible drift boats. One of the other reasons I really wanted this raft was because it can accept full-size oars. Um, a lot of the smaller rafts that are out there right now have the small little dinky baby oars that I probably would have snapped by now, honestly, in some of the heavier water that we fish in. And even though this raft is bigger, it still fits in the back of a full-size pickup truck. All you really need is one of those braces that goes in the trailer hitch receiver and sticks out to support the back end of this thing. Uh, it won't fit in my Tacoma. You know, it won't fit in there straight between the wheel wells. But a full-size pickup truck, F-150, Silverado, things like that, uh, it'll fit right in there. This boat also is capable of attaching an outboard motor, which was important for us to have because there are some sections that we drift, like up here in Maine, there's not a lot of good access, there's not a lot of put-in and take-out points, so you have to do a lot of motoring. We needed something that you could mount a motor to, so um, this right here, that's the motor mount. And we run a little two and a half horse off of that. It's capable of running up to, I think, a six horse, um, but we run a little two and a half horse and that's been perfect for us. This model's kind of all pimped out. So we got like the gear rack back here, a place to, you know, store some bags or tackle or whatever you need to throw in there. It's got a five rod holder right here that's built in. So you stick your rods through the tube up in there and then the reels sit on this foam and the rods clip right into this. Now, one thing that we did do is because the rods will be facing this way towards the back. Um, it makes it harder for the guy in the back to grab his rod. So what we did was add two more rod holders and I made a video on this. Um, I'll pop it up right here so you guys can see it. But we just made it out of PVC pipe. Slide that right down. It's nice and secure, not going anywhere. So this part right here is called the duck bill. And this was an add on that we definitely wanted um, when we're fishing with three guys it just gives us more room to put equipment so we usually will put like a yeti cooler there you can see these little mounts that we put here to hook the straps to for the yeti and that works really well it fits perfectly right there so we can put all of our drinks and food in there for the day lunch and stuff and it works awesome these drift boat braces super secure you can go through rapids standing up in there and the cool thing about this floor is that it has cutouts in it so you can see there's a plug right there in the back, there's another plug that's just like that. And that allows it to be bailing, you know, self bailing, or you can make it completely water watertight by pulling those plugs out. There's a couple of ports here that if you get water in, you can use your little hand pump and pump water out. And the cool thing about this floor is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got sort of like an EVA foam on the top of it. And a lot of the other rafts that I've seen, they just have vinyl like this on the floor. And when you have that EVA foam down there, you can wear your waders with cleats and you don't have to worry about digging into that, puncturing a hole, because it's a pretty thick EVA foam. You can see, you can see it right there. 
this thing pumps up super hard. The harder that you, harder you pump it up, the better it's going to row. And it feels like you're just standing on solid ground in there. It's pretty crazy. Uh, one of the other reasons I really like this boat was because of the anchor release being dead center of the rower seat. So some of the other ones are over here on the side. This makes it really easy, accessible right in front of you. And you can just grab that line anytime, pull it up and release it. It's got a really nice heavy duty pulley system there that's made for drift boats. It runs all the way down this tube here, out through the back, right here. right out through this tube and actually when you get this it has a double pull system and uh, we kind of converted it to a single pull system now um, just because we we're getting some line twists and stuff we fish in a lot of current and uh, we just needed to have something that wasn't going to twist up as much but uh, happy with that we also got the tornado anchor on here which doesn't come with it but it does come with a pyramid anchor which works good uh, we upgraded to the tornado the seats are really easily removed. You just push a little tab up in here and then it pops right off so you can take these out no problem. I keep a little storage box with life jackets and other stuff that needs to be dry. Uh, we have some spare rope, uh, anchor rope, a couple other uh, like an emergency kit in there and uh, that can just slide right under the seat. It fits really well. We also have an emergency th throw line here in case somebody goes overboard or something we need to toss them a line. But that's pretty much the setup, guys. That's uh, that's the Hooligan XL. All right, so now that I've had a year of fishing with this thing, we've had a whole season with this raft, I'm gonna tell you my thoughts and give you my review on this raft. We'll start out with the build quality. I think the build quality is very good. Like I said, the, the guys over at Stealthcraft, they make drift boats over there. They literally make drift boats. This frame that we have is all one piece welded in some of the other boats, they're pieces. So like the front piece would be separate from the middle piece and the back piece is separate. So uh, you get a lot of squeaking and a lot of movement in your, in your rowing frame. And with this, there's none of that. There's no creaking, no squeaking. It's all one piece, super durable, rugged. The seats in these are incredibly comfortable. Every person I've taken this raft, they've all said the same thing as soon as they sit down. Wow, these seats are nice and uh, nobody else has seats like these i'll tell you right now these are like a full boat seat really comfortable now i'm not i'm not like a guide or i haven't been rowing for you know 20 years or anything like that but um, i found this thing to be really confident inspiring and i think that uh, anybody can really grab one of these things and just and learn and get the hang of it pretty quick the good thing about having a raft is that you can bounce off things and especially up here in Maine, there's a lot of places like that that you wouldn't want to take an aluminum or a fiberglass boat down unless you really, really knew what you were doing. Uh, because we have some scratchy places, we have a lot of boulders and rocks. If you pump everything up really hard, um, it'll draft really well in the water. You can, you can kind of just hold yourself there by just giving it a few little light strokes. I have a lot of confidence that you could take this down some pretty gnarly stuff if you, if you knew what you were doing. They put extra reinforcement under here on all of these corners. I mean, it, it's it's like rock hard. All of the corners in the high touch areas that are gonna be scraping bottom and bouncing off things, they've really added a lot of reinforcement and that's just gonna extend the longevity of this rubber on the raft. Another thing that people have said when they get in here is, wow, this thing is way more stable than it looks because when you're sitting in here, it doesn't look all that wide. It is five feet wide, but when you get two or three people in here, you would think it might be a little bit tippy side to side. Uh, it's not at all. Um, we've had, we've switched positions here. I've, you know, we get on the side and walk on the pontoons up around each side. It's so stable, unbelievably stable. I don't know how, it, but it is, I'm telling you right now. I tried to do that in another raft, one of the smaller, one of the competitors rafts, and we didn't end up doing it. It's pretty sketchy. That thing was not, not nearly as stable as this, not even close. The only downfall of this raft is the weight of it. For one person, it's it's pretty difficult to maneuver around. If you have a trailer, um, you can you know you can back up to the water just like any boat. You can dump it in and use it. If you're going to be dragging it, it's going to be very hard for one person to drag. It's fairly heavy, and uh, that's really the only downfall of this thing. But uh, like I said, we could have got the smaller one, the uh, just the the regular hooligan, and that would have been a lot lighter. But we wanted something a little bit more robust so we could get through some heavier water that we fish. 
and I don't have any regrets buying this whatsoever. This thing has been, this thing has been so awesome. Um, it really gets you into some places that we would have never been able to get into if we didn't have this thing. So I probably missed a whole bunch of stuff, but basically, guys, the bottom line is this raft is awesome. It's completely bomb-proof, exactly what I was hoping it was going to be. I have zero regrets buying it, and I can't wait to see what what else we do with it in the future. And uh, if you guys are looking for a one of these smaller um, drift boat rafts for yourself definitely go check out stealth craft because they have the best one in the industry right now and they're not paying me to say this at all i've used some of the other ones everything on it when you compare it side by side everything on this is just beefed up bigger and better and it, that just means it's going to last longer so let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this raft and uh, subscribe if you haven't already we'll catch you guys in the next video Thank you.